Let me tell you my setup that I have going on right now. This microphone that I'm talking into is a condenser microphone that requires 48 volts of phantom power. In order to power this, I'm using the X5P1. This is a portable power supply for phantom power for your XLR microphones. There's many situations in which you might want to use a unit like this. And I'm gonna go over the features of this so you can determine whether this is a product that you would want to have in your arsenal. So first off, it like I said, it, it has 48 and 12 volts on the power supply. So basically a condenser microphone requires power to the microphone. And some mixers have it built in where you can power a microphone uh, through the mixer, but a lot of mixers don't, a lot of situations don't. If you're trying to use a condenser microphone, perhaps with a camera or uh, a mixer that doesn't have phantom power, um, even my setup right here, I could plug into my video switcher, which does not have phantom power. So I would need this unit in order to get this microphone to work. So Another thing that it has is it's got the these locking XLR, you know, like an XLR right here. Just any XLR cable works with this, and they lock in uh, as expected. Sometimes, sometimes units don't don't have the locking mechanism, and I like that it has the locking mechanism. It is battery powered, so you charge this up using the USB, the micro USB here on the side, and that's how you charge it up, and then it shows you on the top. How, many, how much battery is left on here. So I've had this charging for about 15 minutes or so. And so I've got two bars on the battery or two LEDs out of four. So I know exactly how much power, how much time I have left on this, which is very, very nice. It also has a switch where you can do 12 volts or 48 volts. Different microphones have different requirements as far as their power is concerned. This microphone requires 48 volts. That's why I'm here at the 48 volts. Also, it's got a simple on off switch down here at the bottom. So you can turn this uh, on or off whenever you need it. So, uh, which is really nice. You know, you can just kind of be working and then when you're done with it, you flip the switch and it is off. The size of this, uh, I'm gonna pull up another pedal. This is uh, like one of those micro foot pedals you'd have for guitar players. And you can kind of see that it's about the same size as a micro foot pedal or a smaller, one of the smaller foot pedals uh, on here. So that's pretty nice. Also the case that it's in is, it's really kind of a nice feeling case. And it's not rubber, but it has like a, like a matte finish to it, and it is a metal case as well. So uh, that's that's very nice. This is going to last a long time. As far as application, there's a few different ways that you would uh, use this and different settings you might have it. Like right now I'm in a studio setting. Um, that's one way that you could have it. Another that and I think is probably the, the biggest way that I would use this is in a portable studio setting where I might have uh, different microphones and different rigs set up, but I don't have phantom power, whether that be an indoor shoot, like if I was doing a video shoot outside where I needed uh, audio or recording outside where I needed audio using a nice condenser microphone. Another thing would be like a podcast. You know, if I was to go to, uh, another location and do a podcast with somebody, I could use the P1 to power my condenser microphone and be able to get good podcast audio uh, using the P1. Also, you could use this in a live setting if you were using a microphone that needed 48 volts. Like I said, not all mixers, not all soundboards have the capability to do 48 volts. And some of them don't have the capability to turn on phantom power to an individual channel. So they might have it where they could turn phantom power on the whole, all the board or none of the board. And so this is a great option for that, where if you just wanted to have phantom power going into one of your inputs, this is a great way to do that. So this unit, I'm really happy with this. I'm excited that I have it. I'm excited that uh, X5 even made this because it's nice and small. I'll be able to use this in a number of different ways. Good job X5 on making this and hopefully this video is helpful to you in determining on whether this is a product that you need in your arsenal for your condenser microphone that needs phantom power. Anyway, Kenneth Russell out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.